Hey guys, Squirrel Shades here, and welcome back to something a little bit different. I've been recording a bunch of UHC videos on my channel for quite a while now, but I figured I'd go ahead and give this a shot. This is still a UHC video, but it's definitely not going to be the same as any other videos I've uploaded, in the sense that all the other ones have been montages and uh, just stuff like that. But this one obviously is going to actually be kind of a normal sort of Let's Play commentary video. Of course, this isn't a Let's Play, this is... Uh, like I've been saying, UHC. Another thing is, I'm not going to be playing with a bunch of the other friends I usually play with in the Parrot UHC, because this is actually uh, the UHC Zone server. And the reason I play on here is because the games are a lot shorter, and I feel like they'd be much more suited for this kind of uh, commentary sort of game. You know, in the other games they that I play with like uh, the guys on Parrot, they usually take like... I don't know, maybe hour, two hours to finish sometimes? They can be pretty long, so this server likes to have block legs sometimes. It'd be fairly annoying, but it's not the worst. But those games can take up to about two hours long, so there's no way I'd be able to make commentary uh, for those. Uh, that would be interesting, at least. These are nice, quick, 15 minute long games, at least in this game mode on this server. So I figured it might be nice to just, you know, change things up a bit and try giving these types of videos a shot. Also, I don't want to kill this chicken. Because sometimes I forget on here we don't start out with food. Like on the pair you see, we always start out with a stack of steak and three apples. And here, now nah, you gotta fend for yourself. Also, you start off in the speed game mode. You have night vision 2, speed 2, haste 2, and you even get these nice magic boots that, have, that say, ever fancied walking on water? Well, in fact, they actually let you do that. You can literally just sprint across the water. It's pretty great. Definitely offers for a much faster uh, game. Like I've been saying, these game, this game is focused on just getting things moving, getting minerals and uh, items as quickly as possible. And yeah, another thing is, uh, as some of my friends have told me about the server and what I've found personally while playing on here, is finding stuff like diamonds and gold in, in general can be a lot easier than normal. Like, also, uh, just like other stuff on the surface too, like villages and this, this stuff like that. It can just be really easy. I remember the first game I played on here, all I did was run around on the surface for like 15 minutes, the entire 15 minutes, and I got a full suit of iron armor and a diamond sword just from running around the surface and looting villages and uh, desert temples. And I actually did pretty well at Deathmatch, too, so it's not very difficult uh, to do well on these servers, but still, it takes a lot to win. And, uh, yeah. So now that we're actually getting started here, I mean, I've been actually working this entire time, we're actually going to have to get on the grind and get everything we can within the next uh, 12 minutes. But I am obviously going to have to look on the surface for a bit, just so I can get some food, because I'm not going to be able to survive long if I don't have the food to back up, back me up, because I do not want to starve to death. That is preferably not the way I would like my uh, first video of this to end. But I think I'm actually going to put food on hold, because this ravine here seems to have a lot of iron for me, and it would be definitely a very nice uh, kickstart, or a nice boost for us to get all this iron as quickly as possible. Because even just so much as getting basic uh, iron armor, by basic I mean not enchanted, that's basically enough armor to get you by in this sort of game mode, because not everybody finds that many diamonds, not everybody typically gets enchanted, also, holy crap, that block lag. So I haven't even gotten most of that iron, I don't know if that's going to be an issue. Oh my goodness, this is actually ridiculous. I have never seen it be this bad. Okay, now we have all the iron. Didn't actually lose any on that deal. Great, okay. Let's see, was there any back there? Didn't look back there yet, but doesn't look like it. I'll just go up here. I think this little sort of mini ravine should be all we need in terms of iron. We don't really need to work towards getting an anvil or anything crazy like that. We'll be lucky if we get an enchantment table, to be honest, because even with all the speed and haste and, like I said, like accessibility of minerals everywhere, it's still not the easiest uh, feat to get enchanted gear. But hey, we'll do what we can to get it. It'd still be very nice to be able to go into deathmatch with a sharp one diamond sword. 
definitely a lot. Hell, it'd be nice to just go in with a diamond sword, like I said. Like before, when I just had a full set of iron and diamond sword, I did fairly well at deathmatch. Anyway, I think we're good on iron now. All I need is enough for one set, and I'm pretty sure this is all I need for one set of iron armor. And I do also need to have enough for a uh, pick, and preferably a sword too, so I might actually have to go mine just a bit more. Yeah, one more vein, I think, should do it. Uh, let me take off my water boots. As useful as they are, it's not going to be very useful when we're starting to do PvP. And also, by the way, PvP doesn't actually start until this timer down by my heart bar, which is the bottom, if that wasn't clear. So we do have plenty of time before anybody we find on the surface uh, is actually able to kill us. That's another thing about this server, I never typically tend to run into anybody, even though there's all these people here. Also, you notice a lot of the people already died. It's uh, another thing on this server, people tend to die very quickly. Uh, but still, even with all these people, I rarely ever, f I don't think I've even ever found anybody on the surface before a deathmatch. I don't know how big these worlds are, but I've just never found anybody. It sounds ridiculous, but it's just never been a problem. So, yeah, I've never even been stalked by anybody either, which is something that typically happens a lot on these sort of public UHC servers. So, I don't know, maybe I'm just lucky, or maybe these people just are... I don't know, a little less stalkery, which is always a good thing. Alright, let's get this pick, and then just get ourselves a nice iron sword to defend ourselves with. Alright. Oh. Wow, this is... that was great. Okay, I'm just gonna eat this chicken here, and I gotta go ahead and just scour the surface for more food. And then I'll probably just head down and go on the quest for diamonds, because that's all I really need at this point. It's just a few, just like a good amount of diamonds, and I'll be set. At this point, I don't even know if I'm going to work towards an enchantment table. Yeah, I do see sugar reeds over here. Oh, sugar cane, not sugar reeds. And, uh, I mean, it's only two of them, though, so this isn't exactly enough. Also, we're right next to the border. That's interesting. Okay, let me go search over here. We might find another piece of sugar cane. Might not. I'm not really, really going to be too upset if I don't have enchantment table. Honestly, I won't be too upset if we just went in with the gear we have right now. Because it's very likely that we might run into somebody else who has a diamond sword, but if we can manage to kill them, the diamond sword's ours. And sometimes when you go into deathmatch, there's just literally loot, like, laying everywhere that people just didn't bother to pick up. So you might get lucky enough to find some really good gear going around. Go ahead and throw yourself away. Alright, we got another chicken here. I'm gonna have to eat it right away just because I really need to keep my food up while I'm looking to acquire a good stack of it. There we are. So another chicken over here. Just on the hunt right now. Gotta get as much chicken as we can. Not specifically chicken, but you know. Feathers help too. That's another thing I always try to keep in mind in UHCs is always try to kill as many chickens as you can just because they drop feathers. You can turn feathers into arrows. Uh, if you have enough flint, that is, but gravel isn't exactly hard to come by. But that also implies that you have a bow, which... It... Okay, I didn't realize you don't take fall damage on the server. That's good thing to know. Either that or I just, like, completely got super really lucky with a weird, like, lag glitch or something. I don't know, I just want more food. Three chicken's pretty good, but a little bit more would be nice. Also, like I've been saying, I don't necessarily need an enchantment table, but if I could end up finding some cows or even horses to get some leather from, and that last piece of sugar cane, I wouldn't be complaining. Another thing I'm struggling with right now is apples, but I don't know how well we can expect to... I mean, what I'm trying to say is I don't know if we can expect to find any apples right now. I don't want to waste time grinding for them, and it seems a little useless at this point. Okay, we only have five minutes left. I need to start digging. If I ever want to find any diamonds, I need to start digging right away. So it's very likely right now that we're actually not going to find any, but hey, who knows. I might actually get super lucky when I, once I reach Bedrock. If I can even reach Bedrock before five minutes, but I don't know, it shouldn't take that long, especially when I have the speed and haste. And again, I'm not even going to worry about covering that up because it's just going to waste my time. I don't really have uh, decent blocks to cover it up with. And, uh, 
It would just be a lot more faster and a lot more efficient to just head down as fast as I can and just get everything I need. As I've, been, as I've been saying this whole video, nobody ever seems to follow anybody, and nobody ever seems to find anybody. All the deaths that end up happening for the match that I've seen have always just been fall damage or mobs or drowning even. It's kind of ridiculous. Anyway, that's super ominous sound we just heard. We've declared that PvP is now enabled, so if anybody has been following me this entire time, with me just being ignorant, just completely ignorant, then now is the time for them to kill me, but it seems like we are in the clear. Thankfully so. Anyway, it's gonna be a while until we hopefully get to bedrock and find those diamonds. If we find any. Uh, not gonna worry about this iron, just not gonna bother what level are we at? We're at 46, it's gonna be a while, man. I could use my iron pick to move a little bit faster, but I kind of just wanna save it, just in case. You know, I've kind of always been a stickler for durability on my tools. Okay, more iron. Come on. Even some gold would be nice. Not, well, to be honest, probably wouldn't be that nice because we don't have any apples, but... Hey, it'd be better than nothing. Okay, got coal here. Definitely don't need that, considering I have night vision and no need for torches and everything smelts automatically. Okay, I think... I'm not exactly sure if fall damage is turned off on the server, and I don't really want to risk it. I'm pretty sure you can still take fall damage during meetup at least, so... I'm gonna try to build across and have a better spot to just get down into this cave. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. Okay, what level are we at now? 20? 27. Still no gold or anything. That's weird. Interesting. Lava. I could try going that way, but I'm just gonna dig down more. I really need to get down to uh, diamond level and just honestly just start straight mining. At this point, I feel like that's the only way we're ever going to find anything. Like, on Parrot UHC, they don't normally... Like, strip mining is usually banned, or like something you could get banned for on Parrot UHC, so you'll never see me doing any of that on that server. But on this public server, there's not really any point in not uh, strip mining. There's, there's not really, honestly, much they could do to uh, work against that, really. At the same time, I don't know, I don't really think I'm going to be hurting anybody by just strip mining. Plus, we only have two minutes left. Two and a half, actually. Let's hope, if I dig in this direction I am at level 12, we will just stumble upon a couple diamonds. Let me just uh, dig down a little bit more. Oh, never mind. We're going to stay right up here. I don't want to dig into lava. This is less than favorable right now. I really hope we get to find something. Redstone, don't need that. Just two diamonds would be all I'm asking for, just so we can get a nice diamond sword to defend ourselves off. Or defend other players off with. Because while I said earlier that iron and iron armor isn't that bad... Oh, look, somebody actually got a kill there. Interesting. Uh... Well, while I said our gear right now wouldn't be too bad for deathmatch, I'm still a little bit worried that there will be somebody out there better than us who will be able to just take me out real fast. Let's see, I'm just scouring this place a little bit really quickly just to see if there's any diamonds hanging out anywhere. It doesn't look like it. So, where did I dig in from? Right here. Yeah, let's keep digging. Doesn't seem like we're gonna find any diamonds anytime soon, but it's worth a try. Just to look around and check, make sure there's not anything good around here. Like, even stumbling upon a mine shaft could be interesting, because it might you get a bow. Although I don't have any arrows, so that, again, wouldn't be very, very advantageous, really. But hopefully, it doesn't. S unfortunately, though, it doesn't seem like we'll be able to find anything before that match. So, we don't really have any particularly good gear, but there are some other players that aren't particularly good at gathering gear. I have gone in deathmatch, seen plenty of people who just go in naked without any armor. Just kind of ridiculous, but hey, it happens. But anybody we kill might end up having some good uh, materials for us 
Also, our night vision just wore off. That's a thing that happens. Just light up that redstone real quick so we can sort of make our way through here. Uh, yeah, it's not looking good. If I can find diamonds, even right before deathmatch, at least if I'm able to mine them and pick them up, I'd be able to craft them at deathmatch. But, okay, we're on the roll. Okay, that guy had a diamond chest plate. That's terrifying, actually. Really hope he doesn't have a bow. Because right now we're easy shots. This is actually a really bad spawn for me. Because everybody else, anybody else, I mean, who has a bow, is going to have the easiest time taking me out. Can I see a name up there? If he's not paying attention, I might be able to make my way up to him and take him out. But it seems like he saw me because he went down this hill pretty quick. I'm also seeing some lightning over there. Lightning is actually pretty sure that's what happens when anybody gets a kill, so... Lightning up. Okay, he's in the water. That's not good. I'm not going to be able to reach him over there. Damn it. There's a guy with the ball. we got to get to the other side of this hill. Yeah, he saw us. I heard that shot. Okay, doesn't seem like anybody else around us sees where I am. If he could just make his way over here, that would be nice. I see you got down. Okay, he just... Oh, he got shot. Okay. I see this name over here, though. I'm gonna go after him. Doing it. Got him. Perfect. That was wonderful. Didn't even see us coming. Oh, God! I didn't see Toriel coming either. God damn, this is not like you, Toriel. Oh. By all characters to die to. Of all the characters to die to, we die to Toriel. Wow. And then she immediately... Uh, that's interesting. I don't... Um, I don't see how I slay... I don't see how I killed her. Apparently the chat thinks I killed her. I don't really understand how that works. Interesting. Anyway, this was a Zone UHC video. I don't know how well this is going to go. I don't know how it's going to turn out. But, yeah, it just felt like trying one of these things. And honestly, the recording software for my parrot UHC videos has been working perfectly for every single game. But, yeah. So, I guess we'll just check out these guys fighting each other at the end. Maybe see who can actually come out on top at the end. Let's see, we got Pink Blaze. And oh! Okay, it seems like he tries to slap. He's going by two players. He plays the next to the So, I mean, we, got, we did get a kill. We did do awful. It is unfortunate that we couldn't find any diamonds or good gear to help us through the game, but hey. Still had a good time. And, uh, yeah. So, yeah, I'm not sure how often I'll record these, but I definitely feel like this video went okay, and. It'll definitely give me something to do whenever Perry UAC's videos don't work out the way they should. So, yeah. Expect some of these maybe now and then. Not too frequently, but whenever I feel like just hopping into a speed game of UAC and just uh, chilling with you guys and just talking and commentating, I might just uh, see them now and then. So, yeah. I will go ahead and see you guys.